what's up i am reporting live with my glasses today because i ran out of contact lenses and we're just gonna have to do this today anyway if you're new here my name is swani i make videos about public relations communications writing i'm working on a book whatever whatever <laughs> but today i'm gonna talk about the making of an article i recently got an article published on refinery 29 <laughs> It has been my favorite article that I've published so far like in my career and I'm super excited that I was able to use that platform to share that story so I want to talk about how that story came about and how what the process of it was so you guys know and also so that you know whether you're working in PR or you're working on the journalist end of things not to give up on a story that you really want to publish because sometimes it's just not the right timing but maybe it will be later on in a couple of months so you just never know so if you really want a story to get published don't give up on it so this is the process of this story I found um, the person the Cuban youtuber that I talk about in this article on TikTok a couple of months ago like it was in September 2020 right now it's like April 2021 so it was like a couple of months ago I found her on TikTok and I thought it was so crazy she was vlogging from the island I'm really familiar with Cuba how the internet works there I was born there and I came to the US when I was four years old I have family there so I'm just like really familiar with the politics and the internet and all that stuff and so I was wondering how she was even like vlogging from the island like I know that they only have internet access in the parks so I just had all of these questions and I was like this would be a great story because if I have all these questions and I'm so familiar with it like I'm sure other people also have these questions um, so I thought of like who to pitch the story to like which publication would really appreciate the story like which publication has covered things like this in the past so immediately like I thought of refinery 29 because I know that they do a lot of works with different women all over the world as well as like with women in the US um, so I know that like that is a story that they would appreciate or like that their audience is looking for first and foremost whether you're freelance writing or you're in PR you have to think about things this way like which publication would really appreciate the story which publication has the audience for this type of story right so I thought of this story for refinery 29 and I pitched it to their Somos verticals so there's Somos for that's different verticals and there's Somos one is the one that talks about Latinx topics and so um, I you know connected with her I pitched it to her but I never heard back on that story and um, like I, I followed up I think it was like two times um, but I never heard back on it and I know it's because editors get really really busy and bombarded with so many pitches a day so I was just like you know like maybe there it's not the right timing or maybe they're just not interested but then a couple of months after that I, I kept like I followed her the editor on Instagram and I just kind of kept up with what she was doing and a couple of months after that I looked on Twitter and I saw that she was having I don't know if you guys can hear that but a couple of months after that I followed her on Twitter and I looked on Twitter and I saw that she was having like something like office hours for people who wanted to you know wanted mentorship from her or who wanted to you know talk to her connect with her for like anybody in the industry who like wanted that so um, I signed up to one of her office hours and we had a phone conversation and I, that was awesome because I was able to like connect with her more and to tell her about the work that I'm doing and the work that I wish to do in the future. I talked to her basically just like as somebody who wanted to connect with her and I also mentioned that I had pitched this story and this is what the story was about and immediately she was like super interested and she was like send me that pitch again like resend it to me and um, and I think it's like a really interesting story so I would love to like work with you on on what, how we want to cover it and so I was really excited um, but it's also like a testament to show you that sometimes people are you know very very busy at their jobs or they're, they're getting bombarded with emails and it's just not the time for a particular story to be published or maybe you don't hear back for whatever reason that might be but if you really want to have a story if you really think it's like good and has legs and you should continue like pitching it like for this story I just kind of really wanted to write it I had never seen Cuba being covered in this way so I I just really wanted to write it and like I said when I told her on her phone call she was immediately interested then I sent her the pitch again like I refinessed it sent her the pitch again um, she got back to me and was like let's you know let's stick with this angle so we worked together on like the angle that we wanted to cover it she gave me a deadline to cover the story so with the story in particular it was difficult to work with a deadline because communication with cuba is so spotty sometimes and it's not like i can just 
pick up my phone and text like anybody in Cuba. Um, it's a process, so I had to contact the influencer. Um, I didn't hear back. Then I had to contact her manager, um, who I had to like find through looking through her through her Instagram and through like looking at her videos and seeing how she does things. And so I contacted her manager. It took a while for him to get back to me. And then when he finally got back to me, I was like, hey, like this is what I want to do. This is the information. This is the way I want to cover it. Um, so like all that back and forth took weeks. And then I finally was able to get in touch with um, Anita, who is the Cuban blogger. And then we scheduled a call, which we had to do through WhatsApp because obviously like calling people in Cuba, it's like a whole, it's like a whole mess. But um, so with WhatsApp, we can do it through Wi-Fi. So we spoke and then I wrote the story. And then after that, once I turned in the first draft of the story, I worked with the Somos editor to finesse the story and if when you turn in a story that's always going to happen where you work with the editor and they say like yes we like this like expand more on this take this out whatever so i worked with her on that and it was like back and forth of like three different drafts to get it to like its final stage and i was really happy about that because <laughs> And I was really happy about that because I really like when people, when I have the chance to work with people who can finesse my work and, and make it better and like take something out of me. Um, and that's always going to be something that I love. So I really like enjoyed working with her and the team on that particular story. And then a week later, you know, the story is published and I share it with everybody. So I've had stories. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just like the door is opening. But I've had stories that have been published. Um, just like within days because they're more timely like if it's a TikTok trend story or something like that um, and I've had stories that I haven't published within the week and then stories like this that take longer take like months to do because you have to do so much outreach and there's like so much research involved in it and stuff like that so I just wanted to kind of share this story with you guys and inspire you not to give up on something that you really want seen um, whether it's a client that you're representing or whether it's a personal story that you have that you think like you really want to share there's always an outlet for it um, I ended up not pitching other publications this particular pitch because I knew that it was like meant for this meant for refinery 29 and so I didn't pitch anybody else I just kind of waited it out to see um, how it would turn out yeah that is the story of how all of that happened let me know what you think I'm gonna link it down below in case you want to read it let me know if you have any other story ideas or any other video ideas that I can make for you and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time